All right. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nathan with Freedom Influencer, and you're on this video right now because you want to learn how to get rich, and you want to learn how to do it fast. Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about what I've learned on my journey from zero to making $100,000 per month. That's coming up. Hey, what's up you guys? This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer and this channel is all about entrepreneurship, how to make money, how to create a passive income so you can create a life of freedom. So if you want more videos from me on that, I invite you guys to go down, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that way you receive updates of when I put videos out in the future which we're doing right now on a consistent basis. So be sure to hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now, this is a special video, okay? Because I'm literally going to be sharing with you key components of what I believe has brought my income from literally almost zero to over $100,000 per month. And you know, I believe that if anybody has a desire to achieve greatness, to achieve financial freedom, if they're willing to implement and learn certain things that they can achieve whatever it is that they want in their life. So I'm gonna be going over seven different things that I believe has allowed me to create a, a business that can give me freedom in my life. And I honestly believe if you stay and you watch this video and you don't just watch it and, and learn it, but dissect what I'm telling you, internalize it, and not only that, but implement it into your own life. That is when it's powerful. That's when you can change your life, is when you take information and apply it. Applied knowledge is power, my friend. So I'm gonna be going over these things, and I know that you're here because you wanna get rich fast, all right? But what I'm gonna tell you is, I'm gonna be giving you some, some tips here that will not just get you there fast, it'll get you there faster, but it's gonna get you there more in a proven way. Because sure, there's lots of things where you can, you'll hear it, get rich quick, whatever. That, that's, a, that's a pipe dream. It's being sold to people, it's not real. What's real are true, consistent principles that will bring wealth into your life. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. So first of all, I'm gonna, before we kick this off you guys, and I do, I have seven points that I wanna go over with you in this video. I truly believe it's gonna be valuable for you. Uh, I wanna tell you why I'm creating this video. This video was brought to, to you right now from in, inspiration of so far my biggest day in my business. All right, and, and I'm talking about an income here. Today was my biggest day so far in my business, and I've made over $18,000 today, all right? $18,000 in one day. And I know some people might be asking, what the heck were you doing today? And to be honest, you guys, I still work a full-time job. I'm in the military. I haven't quit my job yet uh, because I, I'm still serving. I'm not done with my term. I'm growing my business part-time, and I was literally at work all day and had my biggest day of over $18,000, and the day isn't done. So this video is in celebration of, so far, my biggest day in my business, and I wanna celebrate with you guys by giving you some valuable tips that can help you, all right? So I know that was a long intro, but let's dive in because I truly believe that this stuff is gonna help you out. Now, I'm, I'm gonna be giving you some practical tips, but please also understand that what I'm gonna share with you has to do with mindset as well because you could literally be shown step by step exactly what to do, but if you don't have this right, if you don't have this right, nothing will work for you. And I want you to understand that. If you want to, to model success and create success in your life, you need to adopt successful mindsets. And, and that's the truth. Because before I was open to changing my mindset and creating a, a mindset of success, I was stubborn. I thought I knew it all, but my bank account said otherwise. But guess what happened? I started to learn from people who had what I wanted 
and I started to attach myself to mentors and listen to them. Not just listen to them, but apply it, all right? And by no means am I telling you I'm a guru and I know everything, but I do know that a lot of people look up to me uh, for where I've brought my business to where it is today, and I wanna share some really good t stuff with you guys today. So, number one, tip number one is to dream big, is to actually have a dream. A lot of people go throughout their day dreaming about crap that doesn't matter, okay? And I, w I want to invite you and encourage you to dream about a better life. Not, not telling you to not appreciate what you have. Absolutely, you should be grateful. But I want you to dream big. And I think that that's a lot of where my success and where my drive has come from is because I'm a dreamer. And I haven't always been this way. This is one of those things that you adopt a mindset of success. Dream big and don't ever stop. Don't ever let go of your, your, your dream. And think back when you were a kid. Think about, you know, when we're all children, you know, the world is sunshine and rainbows, and we have this imagination that we can do so much with our life. And then over time, what happens? Society starts to, to get us down. Maybe family, maybe friends, maybe coworkers, maybe people telling us you have to go to college and you, maybe you're not smart enough for that degree or you're not smart enough for that business. And so what happens is our imagination, it starts to shrink, it's, it starts to, to shrivel away. And, and in a, as a result of that, we stop dreaming. We stop dreaming and, and going for what we want in life. So I encourage you, my friends, if you wanna create success in your life, you want to become rich, or you have goals that are almost unreal, and maybe you're questioning those goals, keep the dream alive. Keep the dream alive because that's gonna be your motivation. All right, quick side tip on this, this whole dreaming aspect. I want you to find other people who have what you want, who created success in an area that you wanna create success. I want you to model them, but not just model them, use them as inspiration. And hopefully, that's what I am for so many people is that I, I told myself that, you know, I want to create a business and I want to share with other people how they can change their life, how they can change their life, how they, they can create financial freedom. But if I'm going to be teaching people this and I, I want to share that there's another way with people, I'm going to do it myself. And so I had that imagination of creating financial freedom, creating a massively successful business. So you have to find your dream and stick to it. And if you need help doing that, look at other people who have created success and model after them, okay? So number one is to dream, dream big and never let it go. Number two is to think bigger than you are right now. See, here's the thing about creating success and I know that I experienced this in my own life and I remember back in high school, my drive wasn't there because I thought small. You know, in high school, I would say that I was a C average student. I really didn't know what I was gonna do with my life. I knew that there was something inside me that I wanted to unleash, that I wanted to strive for my full potential, but I was playing small because I believed I was small. And so I don't care where you're at in your life. I don't care what obstacles you have. I don't care what tragedies you've had in your life because that's the reality of life, you guys, is you know we may wanna start a business, we may have goals, we may start on a journey, and then life knocks us the hell down. Why? Because you know we get blindsided with crazy things in life. People die. We have tragedy. We have things that that pull that feel like they're they're squeezing us and holding us down in life. But guess what? You can't let things in your life, in tragedies, and in, in life events come in the way of you and your purpose. All right. And so one of those things of achieving success is. Yeah, okay you guys, do you understand your full potential? No, you don't because you're not there. Neither am I, you should always be striving for that. But one mistake that so many people make is they play small. They, they play to where they're at. And we need to stop doing that. You need to stop doing that if you wanna create something that's worthwhile in your life. Stop, stop bringing yourself down to the level that you're at. You need to start leveling up in your life, in all areas of your life in health, in your wealth, in your relationships. And I think that this is part of creating success is to not play to the level that you're at, is to think bigger than you actually are. 
Because what's really truly inside you is bigger than you believe. It's bigger than you even know. And so if you're not striving for, for bigger things, if you're not playing bigger than you are, how are you ever gonna expect to get there, okay? So number two is to think bigger than you are right now, all right? Number three is to do something that you're passionate about, all right? And I'm gonna go into to the next point, which will go uh, more of the, the uh, technical side of this. But for a second, I wanna talk about this because I believe that if, if you have a passion about something, you will persevere. And the reason that most people fail in not just creating success and becoming rich in life, but at anything is because they quit too soon. It's because they quit too soon. So for most people, if, if you were to find something that you're actually passionate about, where I want you to think about creating a successful business, but not just a successful business, but something that you're actually enjoying and you're getting paid a lot of money to do it. And you, you create financial freedom and wealth in your life doing something that you love. That is how you, that is how you level up. All right, there's a book called the 10X, uh, the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. All right, and it basically says to create financial freedom and to create success is to 10X your efforts in anything you're doing. Well, I want you to take this as an example. Let's just say that you are passionate about what you're doing. What are the chances that you have the ability to 10X your efforts if you're passionate about what you're doing? The chances that you do that are way more than if you were to do some doing something that you hate, but you were only doing it for financial gain. You'll burn out, you'll quit, all right? And so this is the reason why it's so important to be passionate about what you're doing. Here's a great example, all right? Hopefully, hopefully, you can see in this very video how passionate I am about what I'm talking about right now. Why? Because I know, first of all, I'm living proof that I'm creating wealth in my life by implementing certain principles in my life. But not only that, I'm passionate because I know at the other end of this camera, there's you and there's an audience watching this video that it can literally change their life financially. It can change the, their well-being if they take some of these, these principles that I'm sharing with them, with you right now, and apply it in their life. I know it'll change your life. So one of the greatest rewards for me is when I have people reach out to me and tell me that I've had an effect on their life. And so that's why I'm passionate about this. So as you can see, hopefully through this video, that I'm passionate about what I do. And guess what? I make a good living doing it. And I'm so grateful for that. And that's why I believe whatever you're doing, pick something you can be passionate about. Not only for what I've talked about, but guess what? You're gonna get knocked down. It's gonna get hard. You're gonna wanna quit, okay? But guess what? If while you're hustling, while you're putting in the work, you actually enjoy what you're doing, the impact that you're making, you'll keep going, all right? So that's enough on that. Uh, do something you're passionate about is number three. Number four, Learn skill sets that can make you rich. Learn skill sets that can make you rich. If you're gonna get good at something, why not get good at something that can pay you millions of dollars? See, a lot of people, they may be passionate about something, but it won't pay squat. And if you're looking to create riches in your life or financial freedom or massive success financially, okay, You've got to find something that you can be passionate about that, that will still make you a fortune, okay? So there are certain skill sets that will pay you like, like nobody's business, all right? And so what are some of those things? And I'm going I'm to teach you guys, I'm going to give you a tip on how you can find something uh, to, to really create wealth in your life as far as learning a skill set. But first of all, I'm going to give you guys three different things. There's three different what we would call evergreen industries, which means if you can be passionate about any one of these things and create a business around any one of these things, you literally could become a millionaire in any one of these things, in any one of these industries, okay? The first one is health, all right? Everyone around the world will always want to be more fit. They will always want to be more healthy. There's always, always, always going to be someone who's unhealthy, willing to pay for information to learn how to become fit or learn how to become healthier. That's number one, okay? 
health. The second one is wealth, okay? People all around the globe, forever, today, 10 years from now, uh, 20 years from now, and forever, will always want more money in their life. They will always wanna learn how to invest, how to create a business, how to create more money in their life. So if you have a solution to that, if you can teach people that, you can monetize that. That's the second industry. Health, wealth, and the last one is relationships. Obviously, we're all human beings, okay? Which means we have to interact with each other. And that could be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, friendships, coworkers, right? We have relationships in our lives no matter who we are. And so this is an industry that people today and forever will always be willing to pay to enhance the quality of this in their life. They will always be willing to pay someone in order to create better relationships in their life. So if you can create a business around this to help people in this, you can create millions of dollars in any one of these three, okay? So those are the three industries that you can literally create wealth in forever. They're, that's what we call evergreen, okay? So the next thing about this, about learning a skill set that can make you rich, I wanna, I wanna share this real quick with you. What's the, what's the formula for doing this, okay? And it's, it's very simple, you guys. You find a problem. So all three of the, those industries that I told you, you find a problem that a lot of people have, okay? And the reason this is important, why a lot of people have to have the problem is because your business needs to be scalable, okay? It needs to be on a global scale so you can make millions of dollars, okay? You have to identify a problem that millions of people have and will always have for the till the end of time, okay? And then you need to figure out how to provide a solution to that problem. And that is how you monetize a business and that is how you create wealth in your life, okay? So you, you, you learn skill sets that can make you rich. You do this by finding a problem millions of people have and you create the solution for it. And that is the formula to creating wealth in, any, in those industries at least, but this can be done in many different industries, okay? So now let's talk about number five, which is to focus on growth. Focus on growth, not perfection, okay? So many people fail because they're focusing on perfection. They want to be perfect. Listen, you guys, if I were, were to have been stuck in this phase forever, because I was in this phase for a long time, I wanted to be perfect, you know, even creating my first YouTube videos. I wanted them to be perfect and I sucked at them. And I'm still not saying I'm the greatest today, but I have come a long way, is you have to focus one step at a time, okay? And on that note, you have to start, okay? And so I love this quote, I forget who it was by, but it says, uh, in order or in order to be great, you must start. Or uh, I forget what it go, how it goes. Uh, it, to in order to be great, you must start. Okay, or you have to start. Be, I, I forget what it is. If I remember, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm spacing it right now, you guys. But I'll bring it up on the screen right here. Okay. But I love that quote. It, hopefully, I do remember to bring that up and find it. But I love that quote because it is so true. You you have to start. You have to start to be great. Okay. But focus on growth, okay? Another thing is you may have heard this quote too. Um, it, it, you don't have to see the entire staircase to take the first step, right? So, you know, we, we see so many staircases. They wind. We don't see the top, but we see the, the, the first step, all right? And it's one step at a time. So many people, you know, the reason why so many people are watching this video right now, and I, I would imagine this video might get a lot of views, and I hope it does, because I believe that this stuff can change your life. But I believe that people want it now. They don't want to do one step at a time. That's the problem with society, is they're not willing to create wealth principles in their life that can create a life of freedom. They want it now, they want it now, they want it now, and guess what? When they don't get the results, they quit. It's the same thing with when, when people go on, on diets and, and try and become healthier, is they want it now and when they don't get the results, they say, ah, crap, I'm going, I'm gonna have a cheeseburger, a cheeseburger again. It's the same thing with creating wealth and creating businesses, you guys. One step at a time, learn, learn from your mistakes, fall down, fall fast, get back up and keep going, okay? So number five is focus on uh, growth and one step at a time, number six, take massive action. And I think that this is actually one of the most important things I can share with you today. 
And the reason is because honestly, my skill sets, and if I, you know, a lot of people will tell me this, you know, when I, when I tell my friends and, and family or whatever that my skill sets are very limited, um, I think they try and encourage me and, and try and make me believe that I'm, I'm more than what I am just because they're family, right? But here's the, here's the truth, you guys. I was so limited on my skill sets. I was willing to learn and implement and, and become better. And I'm always now, because uh, I've adopted success mindsets that I know will benefit not just my bank account, but also benefit other people and I can share with other people, right? Um, but it's taking massive action. Here's the thing. What you lack in skills, you can make up in action. And I forget who said that. It may be Zig Ziglar. Very powerful words. Think about that. If you, if you tell me right now, yeah, Nathan, I want to start, I want to start a business. I, I want to create wealth too, but you know, I'm just not good. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. Coming up with excuse after excuse. Listen, you guys, it doesn't matter. I'm proof of that. All right. I'm proof that you don't have to be skilled at something to begin. You have to begin in order to become skilled at something. And so Again, I'll say this again, because I absolutely love this. It's so powerful when you when you understand this and you understand it to the point where now you take action on it, it can change your life, no matter what you're trying to change in your life, okay? What you lack in skill sets, you can make up in massive action, all right? So I encourage you guys, no matter what it is, go out there and take massive action. Massive action is your key to success no matter what you're doing. And then when you start to develop the skill sets and you get better at a skill set that can make you rich, which we talked about already, now you have a formula for success. Now you have a formula for creating wealth in your life, okay? So let's get on to the last one and another one that is near and dear to my heart because I believe this is what changed my business. I think this is what has given me financial freedom and that is to believe is to believe that you can do it. You know, I remember when I first started my business, you guys, I kind of was taking the actions, right? And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how taking action uh, can alter the way your brain thinks. But I remember, I didn't, I didn't truly believe it, you guys. I saw people creating businesses, using the internet, they were creating you know, all this wealth in their life. And yeah, I wanted that to be me. I did, I wanted that to be me, but I, I didn't necessarily believe I could do it, all right? And I was actually uh, with a mentor of mine and I, I told him, and I had mentioned this in another video, but when I started creating massive success and my income started shooting through the roof, uh, I, was, I was standing there, I was in Florida recently and I was talking with one of my mentors and I told him that, you know, when my belief changed, this is what I told him, I said, when my belief changed, everything changed as far as my actions went. I said, I started taking more action and then that started to create more money and more wealth in my life. And he looked at me and he said, Nathan, I don't, I don't believe that's true. He said, I believe that on faith, through faith you were taking action and you wanted to believe that it could happen for you, but you started to do the work anyways. You started to take action and then you got the result and then you started to believe more. See, here's the thing, you guys. One thing I guarantee will increase your belief level is results. And I, I agreed with him on that, by the way. Results will change your belief, okay? If you had, like I had today, $18,000 today deposited into your bank account for something, do you believe that it would work? Absolutely you would. It would be proof. You would have the proof you would need to, to believe that you could create success in your life. And so my tip to you is to go back to, number, to tip number six for believing, right? T uh, tip number six is to just start taking action in faith. Take action in faith that it can happen for you. Whether you believe it or not, model the success of other people and take massive action. And what's gonna happen is eventually, I can't tell you when, I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow, I don't know if it's gonna be in two months from now, a year from now, or even two years from now, I don't know when but it will happen if you don't stop. You will get a result in your life. And when you get that result, your belief will go through the roof and you'll actually say, wow, I created this result. I can do it again. And then what happens is you get more results. And then you tell yourself, guess what? I can do it again. 
and then I can duplicate this success. I can keep doing it and I can get better because in your skill sets, you'll start to learn, you'll start to, de to develop, you'll start to develop your mindset, you'll start to develop your skill sets and you will get better and your belief will go through the roof. And now you have tangible proof. You have a belief that's sound. Nobody can take that away from you. And guess what's gonna happen? Even if you struggled with taking massive action, maybe you were taking some action to get that result. Now that you have it, you'll go all out. You'll take massive action to create wealth, to create financial freedom, to create results in your relationships, anything that you want in your life. Once you get a result and you see that it's possible, you'll take more action. So you guys, these are the, the, the principles, the success principles that I wanted to share with you. I really hope that you got something out of this. If you did, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up. It really does help the video and believe it or not, I, I, it, it helps it a lot and I truly appreciate every single one of you that hits that, that thumbs up. And here's the thing, I don't wanna end this video like this and just say, well, see you later, peace. I wanna invite you guys to be a part of the conversation, all right? Especially if you've watched this entire video, that says something about you. It says you're willing to, to learn, it says that you're, you're, you want more. You want more in your life. And so I understand that. So do I. So did I to even get where I am today. And honestly, this is just the beginning for me. Like I told you guys earlier in this video, yeah, I work a full-time job. I've created a multiple six-figure business working part-time on the side from home in this very office that you're watching right now. And so don't tell me anything isn't possible, all right? I believe in you and I appreciate you for sitting through this video and watching it. And hopefully you learn something, and even more so, I hope you go out there and, and apply it. So I invite you guys to be a part of the conversation. Go down below this video and leave your thoughts and comments, and I will engage with you guys down there. I really appreciate you. This is Nathan. If you want more videos from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, so you get notified of when I put more videos out. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer, and I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless.